right? Now, you might say, this is, if you want to talk about consumer surplus, this is actually how we're going to get there, so we might as well do it while we're here, right? Because if I have a Hicksian demand curve, and I got this price, P1, P0, sorry, P10, and P11, then remember, the, hey, this quantity, again, this is where Marshall's kind of causing us a problem, but think of it looking on your, standing on your side, looking at it this way. The height here is the quantity of the good, which is the derivative of the cost function. And I'm integrating under that curve, looking sideways, the derivative from P11, P01, P10 to P11. So the integral of the derivative of a function is just the function evaluated at the two ends. So this area would be that area would be C of P11 uh, P to naught up to P n naught u naught minus C P11 of P2 naught up to P n naught u naught. That is, that area to the left would just be the difference in cost at those u, this would be a zero. It would be just the difference in cost between those two prices. And we know this is a perfect measure of the change in the cost of living. And that's why the area to the left of a Hicksian demand curve is, in some sense, a measure of the change in the cost of living. And depending on which Hicksian demand curve I'm using, I'm either fixing the level of utility at the initial level of utility or at the ending level of utility. Now, the Marshallian demand curves kind of do the same thing. They just kind of a little more extremely different from one another. You know, this Marshallian demand curve is here, and this Marshallian, you know, so the Marshallian demand curve, the area under the Marshallian demand curve is somewhere between those two Hicksian demand curves, which is why I never mind using the Marshallian demand curves, because I don't know which one of the Hicksian ones to use, given I don't know which one I like. Something between them, not so crazy. Now, our price indices are kind of outside. Our price indices are either smaller than the smaller one and bigger than the bigger one. I don't mind using those either, though. Why do I like the price indices? I don't need to estimate anything. I don't need to know anything other than the data the accountants give me, which is quantities and prices. 